मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई मिस नवीदा शेख फ्रॉम ब्रहन मुंबई महानगर पालिका एम सी जी एम वर्चुअल क्लास आई वेलकम ऑल माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू अनदर एन इंटरेस्टिंग सेशन इन टूडे सेशन वील बी लर्निंग समथिंग यू एंड इंटरेस्टिंग फ्रॉम ए साइंस टेक्सट बुक सो लेट्स गेट्स गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम ऑल माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू अनदर एन इंटरेस्टिंग सेशन टूडे सेशन वील बी लर्निंग अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर दैट इज द लिविंग वर्ल्ड now i am ms navida sheikh i am from mcgm virtual class and this is a standard 6th science session so let's get started with this interesting chapter that is the living world now here in this um, picture that is there in front of you there are a number of things that are there in front of you in this image that is you have to see this image carefully and you have to list the things that you see in this picture okay so you need to make a list of all the things that you see and then you have to tell me whether which is living thing and the ones which are non living things okay so you have already learned about the difference between living thing and non living thing the ones which have life are called as living things and the ones which do not comprise life are that is dead are non living things okay so here in simple words i have explained your next is a list of uh, living things that we have in this picture here you have the girl you have a boy you have hen you have dog you have tree you have birds and if you can see few more you can list them as well then you have a list of non living things the non living things that i can see and even you all can see you all can see few more things if uh, you see it carefully i have a few list of it there is a ball in front of uh, me you can see a house you can see books you can see a bucket you can see kite you can see a fan inside the house you can see lamp you can see pot etc okay so you need to make a list of the things that you see which are living and the ones which are non living okay so you are in this picture you can see so many different types of animals and plants and there is so many varieties of them right if you see plants there are so many different types of plants some are short some are tall some are inside the water some are on land okay you can see animals some are uh, some can fly some can swim in the water so you can see a huge variety of plants and animals around you they show some similarities and some differences okay like some animals like to eat grass some animals like to eat flesh of other animals some animals can swim some animals can fly so there are some similarities and some differences among these animals and plants yet with the help of certain features we can tell that they are living things or they are non living things you can easily make it out right you know that animals move from one place to the other okay plants also show movement right but if you keep a stone in one place it will be there forever it will not move from its place so there are certain things that these features that we are talking about are called as characteristics of living things and we need to understand about these characteristics of living things in detail so we will be learning characteristics of living thing in today's chapter okay let's see a few characteristics of living things that we are going to study in living things here like uh, animals you have birds you have insects you have fish you have trees you have human being like us so all these things show certain features which are called as characteristics of living things okay the first thing is growth you have respiration excretion reproduction responsiveness to stimuli movement a definite life span and a cellular structure now these are a few characteristics of living thing that we will be learning in this chapter okay we will understand with the help of an activity you have to see here in this image and you have to see the difference between each of them okay in the first picture you see that there are there is a young boy child and a young girl 
right they have a puppy they have a small hen chick with them and there is a small plant also there that is called as a sapling okay they must have planted that so over a few years they grow into girl and a boy okay and you can see that the they have there is an increase in their height also their weight also has increased okay similarly the tree the hen and the dog they have also started to grow all right in the next picture you do not see a hen why because hen must have died because they have a smaller life span okay as compared to human beings plants and animals okay so your dog you can see the size of the dog has increased and uh, height has increased and you can see the girls and the boy they have matured enough and the tree also you can see it has grown into a tall tree now in the next image you do not see a dog why because these dogs they also do not live for a very long time okay and that dog might have died next in this picture you can see that the body has now become old okay these young boys and girl they over the period of time their body has undergone changes they has they have grown into an adult okay and now they need uh, support even to stand and you can see the tree behind that has also grown and it has become quite mature so these are a few differences that you see between the young ones and the adults in the picture right in the young in the young child you cannot see that they are wearing specs but when they have grown old you can see that they are wearing specs you can see the difference between their hair color also next you can see the way their body structure is their height their weight it has gone under changes now how why has they gone under change because of a very important characteristics in living thing that is growth okay because their body has grown over the period of time and that is the reason they have they have a different difference between the young ones and the adult in the picture okay now you are in this picture you can easily make out a baby grows up to become an adult person whether male or a female during the period of its growth the baby gains in height weight and strength means when you were born you were very tiny and your height was very small you were very small and you did not have strength to do much activity right but eventually when you are growing up you can easily do your own things when you see your parents at home they can do so many activities right they can push the bed they can uh, they can climb up and they can uh, clean the things which are in the ceiling okay so they can do so many things so as the time goes on there is growth in our body we gain height also we gain weight also we gain strength also which helps us to do various activities so in the same manner all animals grow into adults in a certain period okay like say if humans can live for about 60 years there are different animals which can live for certain period like dogs they live for 10 to 12 years okay so generally humans require 18 to 21 years for their growth now remember human beings like us they do not grow throughout their life okay they have a particular time period in which their their body grows okay from 18 from the the moment you were born till you turn 18 to 21 depends on individual okay the growth of living thing occurs from within the body inside the body which means the growth occurs in all parts of the body okay when uh, you were a kid your uh, your legs were not that long now you have grown up when you grow and you go into 10th standard your height will increase right because your internal organs are also growing over the period of time and if you see your grandparents their body has also grown old and their body has become um like this here you can see in this image the body structure has changed okay they stoop a little means their back has bent a little bit okay so here you can see a small kitten which is now growing up and you can see it is getting converted uh, into it is growing into a big cat okay so all living things whether small or big they have this characteristics if they are living thing that is they will have growth same way here if a frog 
they lay egg and from the egg it turns into tadpoles and these tadpoles have two legs and then after few months they become tadpoles with four legs and then they have after few weeks they turn into frog so this is how the growth in frogs takes place so each and every living organism on our planet has this characteristic that is growth in them okay so here on this uh, slide um, there is a very simple thing that you can do it yourself also and observe as i told you that all living things need they grow and uh, their height increases okay and we i also told you that human beings only uh, their height grows up till 21 years of age depends upon individual to individual but when i talk about plants their plants have until the time they die they show growth in them okay so in plants it is mainly the width and the height of the stem that keeps on growing some plants develop branches while others do not and plants grow as long as they live as i told you here you can see the plant will keep on growing until it dies okay so until they are alive they will keep growing okay so here you can see how the seed turns into a plant and how it grows into various parts and then it will it lives for years and years not like human beings they live for many years some trees even live for hundreds of years the next important thing that we are going to study in today's chapter is food now in order to have growth in your body parents always tell you that if you do not eat food you will not grow राइट बोलते हैं ना ये खाना नहीं खाएंगे तो बढ़ेंगे नहीं द बॉडी नहीं बढ़ेगी कैसे नहीं बढ़ती है बॉडी बिकॉज फूड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फूड प्रोवाइड यू विद सफिशियंट अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी फॉर योर ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ योर बॉडी सो द वेरी फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल दैट वील बी टॉकिंग टूडे इज अबाउट प्लांट्स नाउ प्लांट्स दे हैव अ स्पेशल मटीरियल इन देयर लीव विच हेल्प एम टू प्रिपेयर देयर ओन फूड means they do not need straw gas okay uh, rice dal and all this to prepare their food and get energy they have a special pigment in them which is called as the chlorophyll chlorophyll is present in their leaves and this plant have a very special characteristic that means they can prepare their own food with the help of sunlight carbon dioxide gas water and chlorophyll which is already present in them okay they use all this and produce oxygen gas which they release it into the atmosphere and sugar okay this entire process is called as photosynthesis now remember during photosynthesis plants take in carbon dioxide gas okay remember this this is something which is important photosynthesis what do they take in they take in carbon dioxide gas they take in water and nutrients they take in sunlight they have chlorophyll with all these things they prepare their food that is glucose and they give out oxygen gas okay so this process of food production is called photosynthesis during this process plants give out oxygen which is important for us plants appear mainly green in color due to the presence of chlorophyll in them okay so food is extremely important for growth of all living things now here you can see these animals they are eating you can see these hen also they are eating grains you can see a cow it is chewing grass so all living organisms whether plants or animals it depends upon what they eat okay cows they generally eat grass or leaves etc animals however do not have chlorophyll and that is the reason they need other plants or other animals for their food okay they need other plants for their survival everybody is getting it they search for food animals such as goat sheep horse eat grasses while wild animals like tigers lions they need food and they do hunt the other animals which live on plants like if here you can see this image of a cow the tigers or lions will hunt this cow in order to get their food 
okay and this cow is eating what this cow is eating plants okay so plants are very important so as i told you that even us we also need uh, nutrients for uh, our growth and that is why we need to eat everything that is cooked in our house and here you can see horses that have are eating grass from the land and as i told you that some animals need to hunt for their food like the lion the tigers these animals they have to they eat other animals which eat plants okay so food is extremely important the intake of food and the resultant growth is an important characteristics of living things okay so it is a very important characteristic of living thing that is intake of food now our another activity that we need to do is you need to hold your hand in front of your nose when you hold your hand in front of the nose you should not stick it to your nose you should just keep it near your nose so that you can feel something which is coming out and going in okay so you can feel air going in and out coming out from your nose or keep your hand on your chest what do you feel now here in this image you can see that when you keep your hand on the chest you see the difference in the chest okay you feel that the chest expands and then it contracts okay this expanding and contraction it happens because of certain thing okay today we will be learning that in this next picture you can see the dog sleeping now you have to observe his belly okay when you observe his belly you will notice that the belly goes in and out okay so if you observe this sleeping dog you will see that there is a movement in its belly okay now why is there movement in our chest in the belly of the dog okay so let's see that because of respiration now all living organisms perform respiration that is we take in air that is oxygen gas and we give out carbon dioxide gas we take in oxygen with the help of our nose which goes into our trachea and it goes into the lungs and from the lungs this oxygen gets goes into the blood and from the blood it goes to various parts of the body okay so respiration process is extremely important in all living things living things need oxygen in order to live inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide formed in the body due to the oxygen is called respiration okay so when you take in oxygen the oxygen goes into your body and it it gets used up okay after being used this oxygen gets converted into carbon dioxide that is a waste product so the blood gets the oxygen sorry the carbon dioxide gas into the lungs and from the lungs it is given out from your nose and that is the reason you feel your uh, air coming out from your nose when you keep your hand near your nose okay so all living things undergo this important characteristic that is rest okay so here you can see this fish this fish has a special organ in its body for respiration now they do not have lungs like us because they cannot uh, the water has oxygen dissolved in it okay and they need a special organ to absorb the oxygen which is dissolved in water so they have got gills in them okay here you can see an image of the gills of the fish what happens is they take in water from their mouth and from the water whatever oxygen is dissolved in it they absorb it with the gills which is there and then give out the water from it okay so they have a specialized organ for respiration same way frogs are there mouse snakes these also have special uh, specialized organs for respiration okay now we come to another important living organism that is plant now plant also under have respiration process plant respire by means of microscopic pores on their stems and leaf now this is what we are talking about if you take a section of leaf and if you observe it 
you will observe that there are small openings in them okay that is called as the stomata it helps in the exchange of gases and the waste products okay so plants they also take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide during the process of respiration okay now do not get confused between photosynthesis and respiration photosynthesis it happens only in plants and that is they use carbon dioxide gas and give out oxygen gas whereas when we talk about respiration in respiration plants take in oxygen like other normal living things and they give out carbon dioxide okay so i hope respiration is clear to all my students i hope everybody enjoyed this session and please see to it that keep revising and i hope to see you in the next coming period thank you if you like our video please subscribe to our channel and do not forget to hit the like button hope this session was quite useful to you in the next coming period we learn something new and interesting till then thank you